بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Dear viewers, welcome to Youth Hour. Uh, my name is Yisakuddin and our best wishes for you and your family, insha'Allah. And alhamdulillah, we have an amazing lineup for you tonight. So the topic is the father's role in upbringing the children. It's really, really an uh, amazing thing to talk about. And alhamdulillah, we have uh, expertise in our field, in, in our panel tonight, insha'Allah. So let me introduce our uh, panel first. So on my left, I'll start with left today. Normally I do it from right. Robert Scott, how are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for making time for us. Oh, thank you for inviting me. Brilliant. Far right, we have uh, Bashir Bari. How are you? Um, alhamdulillah, I'm good. Thank you. Fantastic. You're a volunteer in, in that team, isn't it? That's right. Fathers yeah. Football. Yeah. Right. And at last, you are the manager of the football, Fathers Football. And um, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, yeah, my name is Gareth, and I um, work for a Christian charity called Ambassadors <coughs> Football. And we've been running a project in Telham that's called Fathers Football for the last four years. If I ask you, why did you choose to name the Fathers Football, if you could um, explain? Yeah, we, what we do, we create community football outreach projects. And I have, and well, I was thinking about what we could do. And I have three children. And one thing I noticed is actually, as a father, it's very hard to bring up your children. Um, and it, it's good to have support. And it's good to have the support of other people around you who are going through the same thing. So we met a lady from a school called Marion Richardson in Tower Hamlets and we talked about how we could engage dads more in projects. And one of the ideas we came up with was actually run a football project. And that's how. Right. Robert, if I ask you, uh, the reason of bringing out fathers into football or engaging fathers together, do you think was a lacking in, in, in that field? Or? I think it was a, a, a great thing to do. Um, often, um, both parents, mothers and fathers, might take their children to school, but often fathers don't always kind of spend much time mm. in the playground, aren't necessarily as much engaged in the school life um, of their child, whereas the mothers, fathers might be. And this has been a, a good way of getting fathers together, um, talking about what family life is, is like for them, um, <coughs> and kicking a ball about without hurting each other too much. Great. Uh, you have been playing with them for a long, long time. Yes. What has changed? Changed... Um Everything, I suppose, the way I used to like um, do things before. Now I do differently. Like um, I'm more involved in exercise um, activities and uh, taking kids to school as mm. well. Things like that. I didn't used to do that before. And um, yeah, and uh, I'm playing football regularly, twice a week as well, same time, which I didn't used to do before. How old is your kids? Um, my oldest is nine years old and the six years old and uh, four years old. Okay, so you, you in, in your team I saw you have about, uh, about hundreds of you know, fathers. So what do you guys normally talk about when you get together? Do you, you gossip or you just talk about something <laughs> positive? What do you do? Nothing to gossip, we just, okay. uh, we, we just uh, meet each other, uh, shake hands and we just get along with football. It's all about footballs and uh, we catch up with the weeks, what we did, this and that. Yeah. Fantastic, uh, is it difficult yep. to control in football in the pitch? Um, no, Baz, Baz has been a part of it for a long time and he makes it, he, he, he makes it what it is, so he's a big blessing to the group. Fantastic. If I ask uh, Robert for what kind of role we're playing in, in, in our kids' life, especially fathers we're talking about today, because mothers are amazing, they play <laughs> a lot of, lot of roles, especially Asian community, mostly mother are playing a big role. And um, what do you think in today's world, what kind of role are we playing, do you think? Mm. I think in most communities of different ethnicities, different religions, um, fathers often don't play the role that they should be, don't take the, the lead in the home. That's not saying they have to do the cooking, the cleaning, that, that side of thing, but taking the lead in um, disciplining, looking after, leading, teaching, building up the, the child to help them to, have the, to be the person that they can be. Um, I think as a Christian person, I'm very convinced that, that God places um, men as um, uh, and leaders within their household um, of their wives and of their children. And if we don't take that responsibility seriously, our children are missing out um, across different communities and, and different backgrounds. Uh, men need to be stepping up and not abdicating responsibility and then complaining when their children go off the rails. Do you think it's the issue? Like, because the men's not playing a role, 
they are playing, not everybody, not lazy, but they are playing a role. But if you played a more active role, I think the society would have been looked differently, isn't it? Because you're playing a role and she's playing a role and the children are bonding with both of you guys, mm. not one part. Yeah, I, th I think that's right. And children need um, a male uh, role model and a female role model. They need that love, that support, that security um, while growing up to feel safe and secure themselves uh, so they can develop. They need both. I think as, as fathers it is hard because um, most times fathers are out of the house and working hard to provide for the family and will come back home tired and not necessarily wanting to be patient and, and to lead um, our children. But that is such an important role, not simply providing materially but providing kind of emotionally, spiritually in a way um, for our children. Abdul Shiba, if I ask you, <coughs> I call you Buzz as well because your friends are calling you Buzz, maybe yeah. easier. Um, before you engage in football um, with Robert and um, Douglas, <coughs> what, were you, what were you doing? I used to sleep, work <coughs> and s eat. Pretty much that was my life and uh, that was, uh, I was becoming obese. My kids were, mm. you know, it's like... That's I'm what not we all do though, sleep. Yeah, <laughs> but I wasn't ladies. involved in any activities like exercises, footballs. Now that I got into football, I'm doing exercises. At least I'm doing a little bit of warm up before the football. That gives me like, I'm sweating. But we don't hardly sweat. We just work, eat and you know, and that is bad for you. A lot of Asians, not just Asians, majority of us in mm. this mm. world, like we become lazy. We we don't get opportunities to play or, you know, do exercise, but this has given me opportunities. But how do you feel for those guys? Like, you know, like some of the uh, Asian communities that they're working in the restaurant late night, or minicab late night, and they get to sleep in the mornings mm. up to probably, I don't know, up to two o'clock or they something like that. They can make effort. How could they make... Uh, they can make effort. I've got so many friends who work in restaurants. I don't work anymore. I used to work in restaurants before. But uh, I encourage them, tell them, you, you coming home midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, you can wake up nine o'clock, go for a session of football, and then come and sleep for a couple of hours after 12, and then go to work. You can do that. It's, you just have to adjust with it. And I got a lot of friends who came in as well in Father's Football, and they're doing that. I'm encouraging them, yeah. That's great. I'm going to ask, yep. I ask you, what kind of people do you get in your father's team? Um, so we, we get a real mixture. So the eldest person we have is 61 and the youngest is 26, 27 years old. <laughs> wow, look at that. Um, so it's a real wide range of ages. We have, um, uh, we have guys who don't have a religion. We have um, Muslims, we have Hindus, um, we have Christians as well. And we have, we have Americans, we have white British, we have Bengalis, we have um, Africans, wow. like Nigerians, Somalians. Um, so it's a real mixture of people that come along and join us. Brilliant. D is, is it difficult to bring people into your team? Is it difficult to uh, approach people and say, look, these are... Um, when it first started, we, it, it did start slowly, but it, it, once it gets going and once people... It's all about people inviting people. Yeah. Can uh, I come to you after yeah, a little break? Of course you can. Uh, dear viewers, stay with us, inshallah. We're going to go for a small break and you can call us, but well, there's a number there. So after, I'll see you after the break, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Oh, 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 oh. 